Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly make a photo album on your Facebook business page. So as an example on my desktop I've got these images and I'm going to create a photo album out of these images and they're just examples of projects that I've worked on. So I just want to create a little photo album on Facebook showing these example projects. Now your images can be of anything you want, it could be of your Christmas party, there could be examples of your work, maybe products that you're selling, anything that you choose to upload. Um, so to do this, I'll open up my web browser and I'm already logged into my Facebook page. So log into your Facebook page and then click on photo album here. And I've already navigated to this same directory on my computer so I'm going to just left click and drag and highlight all of these images and then click open when I do that Facebook's going to start to upload the images and while it's doing that we could give the album a name so I'm just going to call it example website design by DCP and then the description something like if you need a website for your business then simply contact DCP for a free quote So we'll just write a little message in here, a description. Uh, you know, you could describe that a bit better to be honest, um, but this should be fine for this example. In here, I'm going to type in just London, so I'm London based, and I'll pick a date and I'll select today's date. Um, now, if this was something a bit more personal, like your Christmas party, something like this, and you didn't really want everyone to see it on the internet, you could tick this option here, hide from your newsfeed. But in this example, I want as many people to see this as possible. So after you've uploaded the images like this, you can click here to add more images as well. So if you missed one, you can just click here and add more images. You can select a photo and drag it to reposition it. Um, so let's say, for example, I want this one to be first. I can select it over here. And then on settings here, I can say make album cover. So this particular picture will become the album cover. You can also write another description about the project or the photograph down here. So each one can have its own unique description. So I might describe what these projects are, like this one's e-commerce and this one's about a restaurant and so forth. I'm not going to do that now, it takes too long. And then you can click, actually, if these are photographs of people, you can actually click on the picture and tag people. Click anywhere to tag, so you can tag people in the photographs if you choose to do so. So that's pretty much about it. Um, there's not really much else you can do. You can just drag them around and re reorder them if you like. So let's just drag these across here like this. And then all I'm going to do, you can see here, um, Facebook's recognizing these as photographs of people, which they're not really, but uh, you could tag these if these were real people here, you're about to tag them. So I'm going to click post now. And this should take a few seconds to post. And then in here, this is like another view of that photo album. So it's just loading just this specific album. Examples of the work. Need a web, need a free quote. You can get a quote here. Maybe if we do edit. Uh, maybe if we put HTTPS like this and save it. Uh, it's still not a lot. It would have been nice if that was a live link, but it's not. But it doesn't really matter. Um... So you can see all the pictures. So this is the default file album really created. We could go back to page here. And then here you can see the actual post. So you could share that with some friends or family or other work colleagues. Um, if you were to click on any of these pictures then it will go into the album and then you can click on a specific picture to load it up and see a bigger view of it. So that's pretty much it. That's how you go about creating a photo album on your Facebook business page. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.